And I'm going to show you how much money you can earn through doing this. Now, I can't guarantee that you'll earn this money. This will, of course, absolutely depend on your own skills in terms of doing it. This is Google's AdSense program that I use. Actually, Mr. Cameron, you just turn away, away from your spark because I'm going to type in where you're us. Those adverts that I showed you before, when you actually come to my website, you'll notice, like I say, uh, these are adverts. This is Google's AdSense. This is a different advertising company called Chitika. It's a similar thing, just a different layout. And these are adverts here as well. So the first thing you see is adverts. The content itself is down here. And you can click on these things. There's actually quite a lot of content here. Now, it's not that I'm obsessed with mobile phones, you understand. <laughs> um, it's just that I've written over a thousand posts and half a million words there. Now, the thing is, this is over two years. I only generally write about three posts a day, something, something of that order. Um, it's just about the latest use of mobile phones that nobody's talking about. If you've got a passion for something, and as IT or computer science people, you genuinely will have a passion about something, that something probably will be about computer games or technology in general, but it can be about anything. Celebrities, fashion, whatever it is you're interested in, if you've got something that you want to talk about, if you've got ideas that you want to express, you'll find that you'll be able to talk about it, and this effectively gives you a voice in which to do it. I currently get around about 10,000 people a day reading my websites. We do more than I am actually talking about. So in other words, any of the ideas that I've got about mobile phones, or any of the comments that I want to make about it, or just the way mobile phones are impacting on society in general, which is another thing I think to talk about, I know that 10,000 people a day are reading my stuff. And the way that I do this, again, I can say, it's the way that I understand what people want to read. It's also something called search engine optimization. The way that you get a lot of people coming to your site, first you need good content so that people want to read your content and want to link to it in the first place. But you also need to be found. There are billions of web pages out there. There's a lot of competition. So if you're on one website and nobody can find you, you'll never be read. But if the search engines are picking you up in popular terms, and you're ranking highly in the search engine so that you're appearing on the first page, for example, for example, which is not appearing on the five, then lots of people will come to your site. So if you can write in such a way that you can optimize your site for the search engines as much as for your readers, then more and more people can come to your site. You'll find that it's an exponential curve. It starts off really slowly to begin with, but later on, throughout the week, throughout the months, if you continue posting, more and more people come to your site, they'll start picking on the adverts because you're getting that people come to your site anyway. Your traffic will improve, you make reason you get, and so the money. <clears throat> so, how much money are we talking about? Well, this is what I learned this morning. This is since 9 o'clock this morning, so it's $15. Yesterday, it was $66. So that's about 33 pounds. Now that's each day. Now, you can actually do anything on my site yesterday, so that's kind of like passive income. But I, have, I was only like more than that before the summer. The summer's been a bit quiet. So if I go back to, to my best, best month so far, uh, which was May, I don't know why May was such a successful month. I'm telling lots of people who are interested in buying mobile phones back in May. I just set this up. Right, so as you can see there, that's $3,600 I earned today. That's one month. So that's about $1,800. That's just for one website. So, I'm going to say that you can earn some money doing this. You can earn some money doing this. Now, the idea behind this, like I say, is for you as students to actually use the skills that, we, that you've got anyway as part of the IT degree or part of the computer science degree to create your own blog, maybe to generate your own templates, to write your own plugins, the work based blogging platform that I use here, anything like that. To use your skills to actually optimize your blog, to use the search engine optimization skills that I've got, both to get your message across if you've got an idea or something you want to talk about, but also to capitalize on those skills while you're at university. Now, I can't guarantee that you'll earn those, that kind of money and so on to begin with. That was after two years of blogging. My first month of doing this, I earned 80 cents in a month. And the second month, I earned $1.87. So at that stage, I looked by about two pence. I've done my video eventually. <clears throat> so I was kind of thinking I'd spend a lot of time doing this, because you do spend a lot of time setting it up to begin with. Is this going to be worth it? Well, obviously, if you keep on doing this, you've got the patience, the motivation, and the passion about what you're writing about, uh, to actually do this to write it in such a way that you're basically saying something that nobody else is saying. In other words, you give your blog a voice, effectively, that's different from the crowd. Then more people will come to a site over time, and if you've got the system to carry it on, there's nothing to stop you earning that kind of money. 
like I say, I can't guarantee that you'll earn that money, but in terms of a different way you're actually getting the minimum cash under the word you are, it's a great way of putting your IT and computer science skills to actual practical use while you're at university. Now, another thing that we're starting to do this year, uh, we're actually teaching you how to create Facebook applications. Facebook is a brand new application. You all know about Facebook and this anyway. But it's just opened up its entire API now. So the entire Facebook platform, you can use as a developer to create your own applications. And this is something that we're starting to teach from this year. Facebook is a way, there are other ways that you can actually generate money from Facebook applications. There's new investment opportunities that are coming there. Uh, and it's a way for you to actually uh, capitalize, uh, not just on your friends and your family, but the way Facebook itself is used to earn money in this way. Basically, the web has evolved from the way it used to be. The way it really is evolving there, there are more revenue opportunities that are actually working. And it's so much easier for computer science and IT students in particular to actually capitalize on their IT skills that we provide during university than ever before. You no longer need to set up your own company to do this type of thing. You can do it on your own or with your mates with skills that you like quite early on. And with the prologue course that teach and the new Facebook development uh, course that we will, will be teaching, um, we'll actually be able to provide you with a way of piloting those skills and hopefully give you a bit of cash through university. Anybody have questions about this? Captain Clay, Yes. Everybody answer that. <laughs> yes, unfortunately you do. How about doing? Um, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? I mean, that is one of the downsides of it. You can see the nice figure there. You've got to halve it for the currency conversion, and then you've got to take off your tax as well. It's a little annoying, but nonetheless, in terms of what you say, I mean, when you, when you first set up something like this, it does take you know, quite a bit of time to do it. But once the search engines are making you quite highly, then it's not that it's passive income, you still want to keep it maintained. If you're only talking about a couple of hours a night, sometimes don't require it at all, and you can still get the income coming in. You've got so much content there, and so many people. No. You can, but then you'll be banned from Google. I mean, Google's, you know the way that if, if you're um, somebody plays your, uh, your credit card and the banks will pick up on it because they've got nice uh, algorithms that actually make you the pattern recognition and can detect what's fraudulent. It's the same with Google. Um, basically, if you start picking on your own ads, then Google will pick up on it and will bank you. And when you've got that amount of money involved, you don't want to invest in Google. So, yeah. Anyone else? Okay, thanks, Mike. That's brilliant. Yeah. So, uh, well, we've got a long list coming down after that. Actually, your own courses, Mike. Okay. Right, so, um, well, have you, if, if any more questions or no more questions, then hopefully you've seen some of the other demonstrations already. Um, if you haven't, they're all open source until 3 o'clock. Um, I'll bring back the, the, kind of this slide here, which just shows the bottom. Um, what else we have is around the vicinity, but in G39, as many of you may have seen already, is the software engineering demonstration the game development platform uh, work. Um, in G60 is space robotics, if you haven't seen that already. Uh, 125 upstairs is the computational vision, uh, and 185 is the large, uh, is the virtual reality cave environment, the universal cave environment. So it's a very nice thing that we'll walk into and see some demonstrations inside that environment. So all of those are open now, running until three o'clock. The, the helpers are around, so if you want to be guided to those, or you just want to wander around yourself on a good time.